Congratulations to broadcast journalist Bill Whitaker for the report he aired on CBS Network. It's an important story because it is the focus on the life, the career of Belva Davis, and this is her book, Never in My Wildest Dreams, A Black Woman's Life in Journalism. I teach from this book. And though many Americans have never heard of Ms. Davis, hundreds of my students in journalism classes in Paris, France, know of her life. Let me share a little from the book. This is chapter one called, What the Hell Are You, in Word, Doing in Here? And as I read from page one of this chapter, she's talking about the experience of a colleague at her radio station. His first boss had warned Lewis he might never become a radio reporter because Negro lips were, quote, too thick to pronounce polysyllabic words. But despite the biases of her time, Davis has a 50-year career. These are some of the people that she interviewed. Malcolm X, Frank Sinatra, James Brown, Nancy Reagan, Huey Newton, Muhammad Ali, Alex Haley, Fidel Castro. And when I talked with Ms. Davis, what she told me in 2011, that it was her career goal at that point to make sure that black women over the age of 40 were not erased from journalism. Why is that important? Well, it's because Going back to the Kerner Commission report in 1968, the U.S. government found that part of the rebellion and revolt and the violence in the United States came about because the media reports were not telling a complete story, that media reports of that time were not showing the complexities of life and of people and their circumstances. And Ms. Davis, and I and many others recognize that as the journalist, the perspective of the person's experience will lead to a creation of a different type of story. And when that is missing, we don't have the full fabric of the United States. And that leads to much of the dissension that we have today. So. Ms. Davis is one of the people who has worked toward making sure that all types of journalism uh, perspectives are part of the fabric.